Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, so I haven't made a video in quite some time now. Uh, okay. So, so I haven't... Oh, my video skipping on me. Technology. <laughs> so I haven't made a video. This is partially why I haven't made a video in quite some time now. But um, I wanted to make one because I haven't really talked at all about the current political things that are happening. And I wanted to insert myself in that debate. And I'll just explain that in a second. Now, I'm working on my painting right now, and it's not going as well as I would like, so I'm taking a little break. <laughs> I'm having a hard time painting trees. I've never painted a tree before, so I'm not exactly... I'm, I, I'm, I'm working on it, though. But uh, I wanted to know how you all felt about Obama's first 100 days in office. Um, if you were like me, which many people on this channel are, you probably did not vote for Obama, <laughs> or you were pretty nihilistic about the whole prospect of voting altogether. Um, uh, and so... Um, since the since the corporate television media own a huge share of how discourse is run in this country, uh, your voice was probably not represented. <laughs> and so consequently, your opinion on what's happening right now is probably not well heard. Although, in brief glances that I've made watching CNN, because I, I have really, at this point, stopped watching CNN, but... Um, uh, I've gathered that bits and pieces of the criticism that people on the the far left are saying is trickling into the mainstream commentary because partially I guess because the media is so far to the right and even this Obama being elected I really feel in many ways is just giving a cover for that media's position to the right I mean Obama himself is really a centrist Democrat but he's being seen as big this big liberal and Democrat revolution and all this sorts of thing, which means a rise of the left. But really, if you look at it, and this is, relates a lot to what I'm reading right now about Foucault and power and discourse, but by talking about, um, by using Obama, by discussing Obama, by having Obama in the media as a liberal, as a Democratic candidate, essentially what they're doing is constraining the dialogue, the leftist dialogue that takes place in the country. You know, the actual leftist dialogue in this country is very much around, you know, uh, socialized health care, universal health care, um, improving education, uh, ending the prison industrial complex, uh, ending the American empire, changing the tax code, uh, make, having a more equitable tax system, that sort of thing. And none of that dialogue is ending up on CNN. <laughs> and I'm sure it's not ending up on Fox News or any place else. So it's mostly, it's mostly, are we going to stay in Afghanistan? <laughs> exactly, how is Afghanistan working? What is this thing about Pakistan? Uh, uh, I'm not even sure if CNN even brought up the fact that the Obama administration did not attend this racism conference. I wasn't really watching CNN at the time. So on the whole, um, if you looked at Obama's, if I look at, okay, so I remember when the election happened and how I was crying and all this other stuff and how happy I was. And a lot of people at the time, even before he won, said that his winning would be a symbolic victory of seeing an African-American man at the head of Western white imperial power would be a transformatory moment. And I, I agree on in one part, in many ways, it was a watershed moment, but, but it isn't as remotely as deep and significant a moment as I would have hoped, <laughs> as I'm looking for. It's certainly, you know, uh, if we look at previous moments in American history, like the, the, the 60s counterculture revolution, um, we know for a fact that those in power sided with the less radical change organizations because they were, they were very afraid of having to make significant changes, which is what the more radical leftist organizations wanted. So, um, Lyndon B. Johnson, Kennedy sided with well, Johnston sided with um, Martin Luther King because siding with Martin Luther King was a lot easier than siding with the Black Panther Party, you know, for example. So, um, and in many ways, I feel like siding with Barack Obama was much less radical than siding with Cynthia McKinney, which is why she didn't get elected <laughs> or and why, why she was completely marginalized in every way, shape, and form. So it, it's really interesting watching what, what has happened to, to, to discourse since Obama has been elected. Because on one hand, I almost feel like the majority of people have gotten this mentality of, oh, well, he's going to take care of everything now. 
you know, when Bush was around, people were upset. And so people were really paying attention. <laughs> you know, people were really watching the news. They knew when he did things. They knew when he said stupid things. But now we kind of have a president who doesn't say stupid things, who, I mean, even under the toughest of pressure, looks pretty suave. And so people have this general sense of, oh, well, he's taking care of business. But if you look at the actual, but you know, that really is just a cover up for, for what is actually happening right now. So, okay, so in detail, if we look at Obama's first 100 days in office, I'm gonna name things that come out of my mind, let's say the good and the bads. I'm gonna start with the goods, because the goods are less on the list. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> I know he does. He, I, I just heard he's gonna do something involving immigration reform, which which is about less criminalization of illegal immigrants and uh, uh, creating programs that help them habituate themselves in American society. Maybe English speaking programs. Okay, that's good. I think that's good. Um, uh, let me think. Let me think. <laughs> good things Obama has done. Well, he he ended the war on terror. He ended the, that use of that term anyway. Um, we're still debating closing Guantanamo. That hasn't happened yet. Um, technically, the war in Iraq is over, although it's not really over. We know that private contractors are still going to be going there. <laughs> so, oh, okay. I can't really think of a whole lot, honestly. I am very happy that an African-American man became president. But but I said this very long time ago, that, that he didn't represent the change I really wanted to see happen in this country. So... Um, okay, so here's the down, here's the things that Obama has done so far that I don't agree with. Okay, he didn't attend that UN conference on racism, um, although he is considering uh, joining the, uh, the human rights panel, but we'll see how that goes. And what does it mean if the United States joined the human rights panel, but yet at the same time, United States businesses are heavily involved in, you know, slavery around the world, in China and India and Mauritania, we, we support governments and that that maintain slavery in their own countries okay <laughs> so what does it mean if we're on the human rights panel we're still the em the empire hasn't changed as soon as obama got in the office he authorized all these strikes on pakistan so so <laughs> you know what does that mean right there um he is giving a bunch of money to black farmers i recently found that out that's good for historic discrimination but the amount he's giving is only half of what the black farmers themselves are actually asking for. So that's a mixed bag. Um, in my personal life, I would say that things have, have gotten a little more interesting. I've seen, I've, I've noticed, part of it I think is my age, I'm not sure, or how I speak, something like that. But I've noticed a number of people have begun calling me sir. <laughs> I don't know exactly why that is. Younger people, and, and I, not and, and, and all all ethnic backgrounds also have begun calling me sir. Maybe that's a sign of something. Maybe I'm getting old. I don't know. <laughs> that that's happened. I've noticed uh, since Obama's gotten elected, people. Um, oh, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. My daily life. I don't think it should have changed a whole lot at all, really. <laughs> um, uh, on a related note, my brother is actually dating a a white woman. And uh, her father actually last week just told her that she's going to cut, he is going to cut her off financially. She's, she, her father is, uh, her father owns an oil company. He's a, a executive in, of an oil company. And she's going to, he is going to cut his daughter, Katie, off uh, for dating a black man. Because she told him that, that, you know, she might be considering marrying him, my brother, and having children with him. And he, like, flipped, flipped. Okay, cried and cut her off and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so so does that does that what, what kind of change exactly does that represent right there? Okay, <laughs> so this is this is why I haven't talked about this much because it's very like vague and iffy. Like I, I'm I'm not and not to mention every time I have a conversation with somebody about this issue and they did vote for Obama and I say I didn't vote for Obama, they look at me like I'm a alien or something. They either assume I voted for McCain, which shows you right there the narrowness of discourse in this country. Um, so I don't know. It, 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 in some ways, I almost feel like the the traditional left is actually standing in the way of the progressive left in this country. And, and of course, then there's the people on the right <laughs> who make up a very large percentage of the people in this country. So I don't know. Uh, the last 
hundred days of Obama's election has left me feeling very vague in, in many different ways. So I don't really know how to how to comment on a lot of things. Except that the world doesn't look like it's getting any better. <laughs> Um, and tomorrow, hopefully, when I finish these books, I'm going to make two book discussions about um, a, a book by Foucault I'm reading and a book about slavery, which is why I brought it up just now. I'll do that tomorrow, though. So I'm going to go back to painting. Wish me luck.